What's up? This is Jake from Geely Reviews, and in this video, we will compare the top two Bose soundbars, the Soundbar 500 and the Soundbar 700. The first thing you'll notice is the size difference between these two soundbars. The Bose 500 is a bit narrow and a tad shorter. Other than that, both soundbars share a very similar design line. One noticeable difference is that the Bose 700 is a glass that runs across the top of the soundbar. Not sure if this is a good thing, as we noticed it's very prone to fingerprints and dust. The Bose 500 on the other hand has a matte material that's a little more resistant to fingerprints. Both soundbars share the same style grille, made from a single piece of perforated aluminum that runs across the front and the side. The other difference you're going to see is the input layout. It's not a huge difference, as both soundbars have the same specs, one HDMI with ARC and one optical audio input sound quality and performance. The sound is where you actually hear the difference. The Bose 700 is capable of filling a large room and it distributes the sound much better than the 500. We feel that the Bose 700 provides more bass and a broader soundstage, which makes whatever you're listening to way more engaging, whether it's music, movies, or vocals. The Bose 500 soundbar was not bad by any means. It's a great soundbar and it definitely sounds great on its own. But when you do a side-by-side -side test with the Bose 700, you'll notice the small differences. Which is okay, since the 700 is a pricier model. Features The main difference in the features department is that the Bose 700 can decode DTS and Dolby Digital, while the Bose 500 is not DTS compatible. Both of these soundbars can be easily expanded. Both have corresponding optional subwoofers and a set of wireless surround speakers. Both soundbars work seamlessly with the Bose app, and functionality is identical. Both the 500 and 700 have two touch buttons built into the top of the soundbar. Where they differ a bit is in the remote control. The soundbar 500 has a dedicated remote which will only work with the Bose 500. On the other hand, the 700 features a universal remote. It's a cool looking remote and it only lights up the buttons that are relevant to the source that you're on at that time. While this is mainly a novelty feature, we found it to be quite useful. Before we conclude, you can find out much more about both of these Bose soundbars including specs, features, and pricing. Just hop on to the description of this video below. We have a lot more reviews and recommendations on our channel, so feel free to join our family and subscribe below to get notified about future videos. So the bottom line, here it is. The Bose Soundbar 700 has bigger and better sound. It also has the slightly better remote, but it also has a price tag of about $250 more compared to the Bose Soundbar 500. Looking objectively at these differences, picking between these great soundbars really boils down to what you need and your budget. For large rooms, the Bose 700 seems like the obvious choice, assuming you have the budget. But if you want to save some money and you don't mind the smaller size, the Bose Soundbar 500 would be a solid choice. Let us know in the comments below which one of these two soundbars is your favorite. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you guys next time.